Our next speaker is the deputy mayor of Him City. Um, he has a portfolio of information, technology, digital, leisure, health, and well-being, and many more. <laughs> so let's not go any further. Please put your hand together for Niam Koo. Hello. Good evening, everyone. It's an incredible honour to be here with you all tonight at the Hmong Australia Festival and to be celebrating 40 years of the Hmong community existing uh, here in Australia. My name is Naim Kurt and I'm the Deputy Mayor of Hume City Council where much of the Hmong community resides and it's great to be here with you all tonight celebrating uh, Hmong culture and Hmong identity. Can I please acknowledge tonight that we're meeting on land of the Wurundjeri Willem people, the Wurundjeri Willem of the Wurundjeri are the first and original peoples of this land and I'd like to pay my respect to their elders both past, present uh, and emerging and the elders from other communities who may be here today. Can I please also extend a very warm welcome to our Commissioner, Dr Sundram. Uh, great to see you again. Uh, Mr Craig Onodachi, representing the Opposition Leader, Mr Michael O'Brien. Craig, great to see you tonight. I think this is probably the second or third time I've seen you in a week. Very active you are. Um, Ms Bron Halfpenny as well, representing the Premier. Thank you for welcoming us here uh, tonight to your electorate. Can I please also welcome colleagues from the Australian Multicultural Services uh, and most of all the organisers from the Hmong Australia Festival and also to members of the Hmong community who are here tonight and many of you have travelled from all other parts of Australia and other parts of the world as well. Um, I am delighted to be here tonight celebrating the 44th year of Hmong settlement in Australia and over 5,000 years of Hmong culture and identity. Thank you for putting on this event and sharing with us the beautiful amalgamation of Hmong identity uh, within the multicultural Australian context. As a community, it's important that we are educated on and embrace the varied faiths and cultures and strive to create a world that is based on cultural harmony and peace. The story of how the Hmong have come to Australia, I know, is a very difficult story. Many of you have gone through significant economic, religious, social and political oppression to get to where you are today. And I know it's been a difficult journey, but it's a testament to yourselves and to your community that you've managed to flourish and survive here in Australia. Special events like tonight help to promote solidarity between all humans from all religious and racial backgrounds and create a more inclusive and united community. I'm proud to see events like the Hmong Australia Festival being held and showcasing your beautiful culture with us all and inviting the wider population in tonight to share it with you all. As a councillor of Hume City Council, I can say with confidence that we are incredibly, incredibly proud to say that we, are one from, that we represent one of, the one, one of the most diverse municip municipalities in Victoria. Our residents come from over 160 different countries and speak more than 140 different languages. And I know that the Hmong community is one of the largest and most active communities in Hume City Council. I think of the over 1,000 uh, people of Hmong identity who live in Victoria, over 600 of you come from Hume. So it's great to be here. Um, as a council, we help communities celebrate and strengthen their cultural identity in Hume City through various initiatives, policies and plans, which include our Hume Interfaith Network, our Social Justice Charter 2014, our Multicultural Framework, and events like the Broadmeadows Street Festival. And through our community grants, I know that we give uh, many thousands of dollars in the past we've given to the Hmong uh, community to help you guys celebrate your, your festivals and your important uh, religious holidays as well. I know that uh, at the Broadmeadows Street Festival earlier this year, I had the pleasure of seeing the Rare Diamonds perform uh, this exact, uh, at the, that exact festival in April and they were great and it was great to be here again tonight and see them performing and uh, putting on a fantastic show here. Um, before I conclude, can I just say that I'm looking forward to seeing uh, even more amazing performances which are coming tonight, both from the Hmong community and from other communities which are here. Can I please once again thank everyone who've put on this fantastic event and wish you all the very best leading into next year and the uh, anniversary of 45 years of Hmong settlement in Australia. Thank you.